Hi there. Today I'm going to make a mandrel for holding rings uh, like this on a lathe to turn the outside. And I've actually got a mandrel as you can see here, but this is uh, this was turned on my old lathe and actually this kind of uh, taper here doesn't really work that well because if you think about it, uh, it's something like that, you know, very exact exaggerated. And then the ring is like this on here, right? Uh, so it's only holding at this point here. And I want to have a mandrel that looks something like this. You know, so it actually can hold this uh, ring, you know, acceptably. And actually, you've got some slots in here. And if you turn, uh, if you put in the screw in here, this these four jaws kind of expand just a little bit. But this little bit should be enough to actually hold this ring or other rings. And I'm going to make this out of aluminium, aluminium, uh, because it's a soft material and I don't want to, you know, ruin surfaces. Uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, welcome to my lathe. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, center drill this and um, put in a center for the tailstock here. So, because this is quite a long stick out and I don't want to ruin this piece. Alright, well, that should be plenty. Alright, now we will get rid of this thing here. And we'll put in a life center. Yeah, a life center. Whoops, here it is. Whack that in, and the mouse taper should hold that in place. Tighten this back and All right. okay, and now we'll just have to turn this OD to 20 millimeters. Right now it's 20.2, so this shouldn't take too long. Sometimes I just forget how much of a pleasure it is to machine such soft materials. Alright, 0.1 of a millimeter to go. This should be the finishing pass. Alright, yeah, that's right on the money. Let's continue. Okay, now I've got the blank uh, cut off. And I'll just clean up this face here. That's nice.
So this is the first step I've turned and this OD should be 19.5 millimeters. And now I'll just decrease the diameter by 0.5 millimeters each 5 millimeter step. And this should create this nice uh, step pattern. All right, that looks quite nice, don't you think? Um, the steps are uniform and the thing is now ready for uh, drilling. Alright, now the tap. This is an M6 screw, if you're wondering. <sighs> Alright, so as you can see, there's a step in here. And we'll now turn a piece which uh, gets in there and wedges in itself in there and expands the whole thing. Okay, so this is the progress so far. I've got this little thing here threaded on the screw. That's this little step in there. And when you thread in the screw, this should expand the whole thing. But of course, this won't work until we put some slots in here. Alright, I guess it's the moment of truth. You can actually kind of see the features in here. And yeah, I'll just put this ring blank in. I've already turned the ID um, to the correct ring size. And now I'll just wedge that in there. As you can see, that is rock solid. That's not gonna move till turning. Uh, that's not gonna move while turning. All right, nice. Yeah, and finally, I'm just gonna compare this one to the final version, which is this one, as you can see. And I think. It really turned out nice. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.